What's going on, everyone? Chris with Journalist Comics and Pop Culture. Got an awesome unboxing that we're doing today. Before I get into that, guys, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please take some time to do so. I want to bring attention to my awesome Journos Comics official merch. I'm rocking the Heroes Never Die shirt today. Boom. Look at that. Some princess action. You know it. Look at that. I am so excited to be rocking this today. Uh, guys, if you're into some official merch, you want to check it out. Link is below. Uh, again, uh, the prices are decently affordable, lower than your standard market prices for graphic tees. Guys, go check that out. Help support the channel. Uh, if you're interested in becoming a patron of the channel, which is $3.99 a month, link is below to that. You can check out what type of perks and uh, uh, how you can benefit and so forth. But other than that, guys, just... Thank you for being here today. Let's get into this unboxing. I got my knife and I got this bad boy right here, guys. Really excited. This is from my comic shop. So I'm usually surprised when I get my, my books from my comic shop because it's just, it's been so long. It's my previews orders, right? Uh, plus, sometimes some other random back issues because and this is one thing that i love about my comic shop guys and if you haven't checked out my comic shop mycomicshop.com um i was very late to the party i talk about that all the time i used midtown for years doing my previews and whatnot um during the pandemic uh, i switched over to my comic shop and i will never go back to midtown uh that's a fact so uh what they do, look at all that, what my comic shop does, and that's not all, look at that, is, you know, if you put a, if you put a previews order in, you know, which is like, what, three months in advance, uh, for all the new releases coming out, you know, three months down the line, you put that order in, right, you pay $5 flat shipping for no matter how much books you buy. That month, or those two months until the order processes, anything that you order, you go in and you can make a one book back issue order, or you go buy five, ten more books. They will take those books, charge you for the books, and you can piggyback your order of your previews order and not charge you any more shipping. It's amazing. $5 shipping, and you can add on to that $5 shipping without that shipping charge getting any more expensive, so... That's a huge perk. Uh, one thing that I love about my comic shop is just one thing, though. It's not not all the things. There's so many great things. Let's go into this bag first. This one had less books than than the other one, and uh, yeah, let's let's take a look. All right, we got the hottest book of the week: DC Future State. The DC Nature pre presents previews. I'm going to go sell this for ten thousand dollars. Just kidding. This isn't the the variant, uh, like black uh, border cover that's been just kind of going crazy. Uh, but this is really cool. I'm still happy to have this preview to uh, Future State. Yes, indeedy. All right, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna save that. That's a bit of a key. I'm gonna put that aside. All right, we got some uh, new warriors. Yeah, some 90s goodness. New Warriors number 19. Just for the hell of it, why not? Mr. Miracle number 8. I think, were these dollar books? I think these were dollar books. I went through their dollar sale. I got, let me see if I could take this off because it, I just hate sometimes when the sticker gets in the way of showing off uh, the cover of the book. There we go. That came out nice and easy. All right, I got this for my son who loves Power Rangers. Justice League Power Rangers number four. Sweet. Right, right. Aha. Finally, finally, because uh, I get to read it. <laughs> I've been waiting. Thor number seven, and what an awesome cover. I only read up to six, and I finally, this came, and, and I can't wait to read it. Really awesome cover there. Another one of these, and I have a good few of these now, and I'm, I'm so glad I have a couple. Uh, the Chadwick Boseman Tribute Spawn 311 McFarlane variant. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm so... Ironically, guys, I'm doing a Marvel MCU marathon right now with my son, and we watched Black Panther 
on Chadwick's birthday last week. And on the birthday, that's when Marvel and Disney Plus put the the new Marvel Studios intro with all the Chadwick, the Chadwick Boseman tribute. So that was just really amazing to watch. And I didn't even know, going into it, I didn't even know. We were just on, we were been doing a marathon and we were on Black Panther and we just happened to watch it on his birthday when that tribute came. And it, still, it, it broke my heart to watch it, guys. It's the first time I watched it since he passed. All right, guys, we got Thor number eight. Yes, so now I can read seven and eight. Alex Ross variant. Uh, another Justice League Power Ranger. This is number five for my son. Adventure Time. I got this for my son, too. And what is this? Mighty Captain Marvel number zero. Right there. All right. And I'm going to be rich with this one. The Century number one. Uh, the 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 miniseries just kidding but that that uh, volume one number one is going through the roof going through the roof and will we see the century in the mcu anytime soon hmm that's the question huh all right cool stuff cool stuff let's get into uh the bulk of it here with this guy oh where's the opening there we go <laughs> all right all right Let's see. There we go. All right. Ooh, yeah. All right. We got Wonder Woman 767. I forget. Is that? That's not um somebody else. It was uh, Jenny uh, Friesen for forever. Uh, and then Josh Middleton was doing a few. But I think this is someone else. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But look at that beautiful cover. Wow. Oh, I love it. I love these Wonder all the artists that have been on the Wonder Woman variants for the last few years. Just amazing. Oh, we got some True Believers. Iron Man, Doom Quest. Uh, oh, yeah. True Believers of First Prince of Black Cat. And another one. Yes, indeed. All right, we got spawn number 312. Look at that. That is sweet. What else we got? Previews. King in Black. I always get my previews, uh, previews book every month. All right, we got Last Remains number 53. The 53LR, Last Remains tie-in. I'm only on, I just read issue 51 because I get the mail subscription through Marvel uh, print subscription in the mail and I'm a little behind. You know, they, they, they don't come to you right on time. Venom number 30. Huh, I bought this, but yet I get this in uh, my Marvel mail subscription as well. And that's the standard cover. Interesting. So maybe I'll have two of those now. I haven't gotten my 30 from, from the mail yet. but All right, we got Bounty Hunters number 7, uh, Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary variant. Like I said, I'm collecting all of these. Gave one of them away in my 3,000 subscriber contest. Because I had more than one. I bought more than one. Yes, the X-Men number 4. Reprint. Facsimile edition. All right. Well, oh, another one. Another beautiful one. Let me... Um, I have to take this off to show the cover. I have to take this sticker off. Just beautiful. This is another Wonder Woman. I'm trying to pull it off without ripping the bat. I'm going to put this in some Mylar anyways. And nope, it didn't work. Dang it, but it's covering her face. There we go. There's still some, but you guys get the idea. Look at that. God, just beautiful. Oh, I got to, it reminds me, I got to sign up for my HBO Max subscription so we can watch Wonder Woman Christmas morning. Heck yeah. Beautiful. The blue sky behind her. Man. All right. Some more True Believers, Avengers. Sick. Ah, True Believers first Black Panther. Did I get another one? I sure did. Oh, and I got another one. 
Got three of those. 65 cents each, guys, at uh, my comic shop when you get the 35% off. Heck yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. There's the True Believers. First appearance of Beta Ray Bill. Oh, of course I got two. Yes, another beautiful, beautiful uh, reprint of uh, The Vision's first appearance, which is really, I mean, this book it is continuing to, to gain value. Coming up on WandaVision. All right, here's Captain Marvel 23. This was another hot one. Uh, with, what was it? The, um, oh shoot, I, I forget. The Son of Namor? I, I forget who was in this one. First appearance, but Captain Marvel's been having some first appearances lately. All right, we got uh, Batman Adventures number six. Oh, I'm looking at this next one. Oh, man. Look at this cover. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at this. Beautiful. Ooh. I want to send this into CGC just because of how beautiful this cover is. Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 20. Look at that variant cover, guys. Look at that white background and just... God, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I could just sit and stare at this like... <laughs> I mean, wow. Wow. See, this is this is the thing, guys. With me with variants, I'm not big on collecting variants, but if there's a variant that I get for cover price or 35% off cover price, I'm on it. I'm on it. All right, another another uh, Star Wars number six, the 40th anniversary uh, variant. Oh, no, that's number eight. Sorry. But we all know when that happened in the movie, Empire Strikes Back. All right, Thor number nine. I'm going to get some Thor reading on tonight, guys. This is another very nice variant. Helderbrandt. Look at that. Wow. Look at all those colors. This is, even though it's got modern style, you know, uh, I, I believe this is probably um, um, watercolor. I'm going to assume. I don't know. It looks kind of a, a mix between like pastel and watercolor. Maybe with a little, obviously, some digital enhancement. But it reminds me of some of the early Thors uh, that had a lot of those bright, vibrant blues and purples and oranges. And I just love that on a comic book cover. All right, so I already had a couple of these. And I got three more. I'm going to be giving one of these away in my Patreon, my Patreon only uh, contest. So I got like four or five of these now. I was just showing off uh, this book, not the True Believers, but the real book, the other day in a video. First appearance of the Silver Age Black Knight. That we're going to see uh, Kit Harrington play in the Eternals. I love my True Believers, man. Doc and Hulk going at it. And what do we got here? All right, we got some more Last Remains tie-ins. Another really nice um, variant. I wonder if this is a connecting cover. Kind of looks like it would be a connecting cover, but cool. That's 52 point LR. So I don't know if you guys are reading the new Spider-Mans with Kindred and what's going on. I've been enjoying it, but I'm... I don't know, man. They better get to where it's going because I don't know if I'm feeling what's going on with Kindred or not. Like, I like the character, but who they're saying it is, I don't know if I buy it. All right, here is just a, a beautiful cover. Uh, Hawkman number 29, final issue. Look at that. Very nice. All right, some more um, 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. We got Darth Vader number 7 variant. Very nice. All right, we're almost we're almost done, guys. We got one more. I had to get a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. This is the the Eastman, a variant. This is one one one, but there's no turtles on the cover. But that's cool. Turtles have been hot, guys. They have just been hot. So uh, I say this for last. It's a little bit of a semi key, <clears throat> nothing too crazy, but. I wanted to save the best for last. It is a beautiful 20 center. Really beautiful condition. And that's uh, Tomb of Dracula, number 19. 
This is a, a Blade appearance, and this is when he finds out that he is a vampire. Half vamp vampire. Look at this beauty. <clears throat> Let's take this out of the bag and get a look at it. All right, beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, definitely going to give it a press. Although, I mean, it is nice. Yeah, it'll it'll definitely benefit from a press. Uh, I'm thinking this is a, a very fine looking book. It's got a few spine ticks that don't break color. Uh, that might be able to get out with the pressers. Actually, there's one that breaks color. Ooh, maybe two. Nah. I'm going to say... Probably around an 8.0. I mean, the corners are pretty darn sharp as well, but look at this, guys. Really beautiful. Give it a nice press and get that spine a little cleaned up. But really happy to have this book. I, this, I got this at a really good price, too, because I was monitoring this book. I was looking on an eBay, and even for, like, lower mid-grade, I think I got it cheaper for what a lot was going for on eBay. Um, and I think that's because sometimes my comic shop is very conservative with their grades. Beautiful book. Really happy to have this, guys, especially before Blade shows up in the MCU. I do not have his first appearance in, at this point. Uh, I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> but very happy to have uh, something like this that's very important to the character. So, man, that's my haul, guys. My comic shop doing it again. Uh, it's so uh, exciting to get these boxes every month. Uh, and I'm so happy I can come here and share them with you guys. All right. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, guys, please take some time to do so. Uh, don't forget to check out Comic Book Canon uh, this Friday, which is tomorrow. Comic Book Canon YouTube link is below if you aren't subscribed yet, guys. We are announcing another big announcement for all of those that entered into my 3K sub contest. So please hop on over there. And I'll see you guys tomorrow here on my channel for Friday Night Live as well. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.